What is up, YouTube.com? It's your boy, Shadow Garrett's back with another video. In this video, I want to try to solve a very major issue I think is going on in a lot of people, and that is a negative mindset. How to cure a negative mindset, how to fix your mindset, how to grow your mindset, how to make your mindset work for you instead of the other way around. And in that video, I'm going to go over my main strategy I use to get that done. It's a very simple strategy. Just stick it out till the end. I promise you, it's going to help you. Let's just go. And if this does help you, please subscribe. I'm going to be releasing daily content where I try to self-help issues that I, you know, I'm researching constantly. I'm constantly looking stuff up. I just want to try to help as many people as possible. So subscribe to this channel. You will be getting my best, you know, every day. I, every day I'm releasing content. Sometimes I miss, but you know, I'll let you know, but I'll double up the next day if I miss, but please subscribe. Anyway, that being said, let's hop right into it. Short, uh, shrink myself here quick. So how to improve mindset, okay? Step one is we need to define mindset because to solve every, any problem, we need to know what it is, okay? There's a lot of working definitions, but they're essentially thoughts you have about things. Now, I don't want to say, you know, it's negative thoughts, positive thoughts, et cetera, et cetera. All the thoughts has to do with your mindset, not just the negative, the positive too. And there's a lot of specific things I can go into and list what they are, like thoughts you have about yourself, but I don't want to get hung up on specifics too much because I want you to see as much of the picture as possible, okay? Because we get a complete picture, the solution. Every all this like the solution will birth all of your little micro solutions for all your little micro problems with your mindset. Because maybe you got a little mindset issue. Maybe it's just a little bit of attitude adjustment. Maybe you just have like a, a major one. You know, it's going to help on every level. The strategy is going to be every level of mindset adjustment. So now we have a definition. How do we improve it? Uh, there's only two mindset issues I run into personally. These are, I feel like, the most major. So how I deal with them to get them into hyper productivity and or at peace is the same solution. Number one is the general anxiety or dread about the future. Need I say more? Number two is when I'm working on something and I run into negative attitudes. Uh, most people, oh, sorry. So this one's like more of in the moment type stuff. Like when you're on your uh, hour four at your, your nine to five job, you're working at Hardee's, you're working at... Uh, Arby's, you're working at McDonald's, you're working whatever, you know, you look at the clock and bam, that negative attitude comes in. Uh, this, this, what I'm about to tell you after this is going to help with that too. It's just, you need to circle back to this, this mentality here. So most people have a what, they have a what, but no why. There's no why. Okay. That's the solution. Simply put, there needs to be a why, why you're here on earth. There's so many layers to why, but if you have no compelling why, it's over before it started. If there's no reason for you to get up every day, why you're eventually going to just burn out and not give a fuck. You know what I mean? That's essentially how it boils down. So, so many people want fame. So many people want the money. So many people want things, but why do they want it? If it's just like to chase a high, then they'll stop going after it once they get the high. You know what I'm saying? Like if they want money, fame, it's blah, 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 because they want the girls, they want the cars, they want the drugs, they want the good feelings, but then they go to a party and get super hammered and smoke a bunch of weed and then do like cocaine or something like that. Then they've already satisfied their need and then there's no more reason for them to pursue that overarching goal. They really just want to feel good. They don't actually need the money. They don't need the fame. They don't need anything like that. That's why they're not going to go for it because in their survival, their why, they're no longer pursuing that task because it's actually easily attained through like binging Netflix, uh, pornography, uh, drugs, you know, et cetera, stuff like that. But if you get yourself a correct why, and I can't tell you what the why is because you have to do that yourself, okay? That's the key. You need a why. I've wanted things, but nothing got me off my ass to do anything until I find mine, until I found mine. I would do anything, I will do anything to achieve my goal because of that why it rests deep in my spirit. It's made me a killer, it's made me an overworker, a tryhard, a sweat, whatever people want to call me, who talk crap about me. But no matter how I feel, what body parts break down, and body parts of mine have broken down in pursuit of this, uh, if there's something in between me and my objective, I will fly full speed at that objective without a thought of my safety or any concern for myself whatsoever. Because my why is such a powerful, uh, it's, 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 it's essentially who I am. It becomes your, your identity. You know what I mean? It, it just takes over once you find the correct thing. The correct thing is going to be different to everybody. That's what I'm saying. I'm not giving you what mine is or anything like that. You need to look at yourself and really do an introspective dig into yourself. And I know that sounds scary. And there's going to be a lot of messed up feelings inside of you if you're dealing with a lot of stuff. But you need to sort through that and figure out why you're here, what you want, like why you want to live your life, why 
why everything you need to you need to write that down and there's no correct or right or wrong answer the way this is what that is a completely subjective subjective experience but it needs to be compelling enough for you um reasons to live are a tough thing to find to pay your rent isn't going to be compelling enough to slog it out at walmart for four years while getting crapped on by customer after customer and being treated like complete filth uh, the reasons to do the whys are yours. No one needs to know deep down why you do things. And frankly, I wouldn't tell anyone why you do things because it's between you and your life. Uh, when you tell someone why you're doing something, they'll tell you if it's okay or not to have that why. In my opinion, respectfully, you should tell all those people to go to hell. Okay. So when you, if the, the reason why I suggest this is that like you want to keep it personal between you and yourself because you don't want other people involved in it. You know, some people have your best intentions at heart, but they're not ultimately you. And so at the end of the day, their life is not on the line. Your life is on the line. So they have no business knowing what it is, in my opinion. I mean, if you want to share it with people, with people you're close with and stuff and try to like figure it out, fine, that's your prerogative. But I'm just saying at the end of the day, it's you and that you and yourself, you know what I mean? You and yourself, you got to figure out a reason to keep going. So I just think that you shouldn't involve other people. But that's it. It's scary to look at yourself inward, but there's only one place you're going to find your why. Because without it, you're never going to accomplish any of your goals over the long term. Uh, See so ya. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, um, I just want to comment a little bit more. Uh, so the why doesn't have to be fancy it doesn't have to be like a movie a movie or a crazy book or whatever it can start small like i've had like tiny wise like i i want to complete this small goal on a video game i want to be here for my dog i want to explore the woods more you know what i mean like it's all a little that's what i mean by there's layers of why there's why you do everything but you need like the the major point here is like on your level of dread that you're feeling or the level of anxiety you're feeling the greater your why the more your spirit, that that uh, metaphysical part of you, will just give you energy to do that. Give you like relentless force. But you need a more compelling why for the more amount of to draw. Your spirit is like a well of energy. It's desire, and you can draw from it like a well. But the only way you can draw from that well is if that well is big enough for you to draw from. If that makes sense. Like if you have a massive well of energy for a, a deep rooted desire, which is why you need to get deep with yourself and really, really, really reflect reflect on that. And, and be honest or whatever the, the deeper you go with your why the more crazy and insane it is the more energy you're gonna have the more david goggins the more uh kobe bryant the more crazy you're gonna have for a desire so that's it uh this one is shorter than my normal ones and i'm glad actually because i actually got to the point without taking 20 minutes that being said please subscribe comment down below what you want to see or if you have any problems let me know i will you know if you have a specific issue you want talked about or you want some advice on I am, you know, willing to put in the work to go research it and figure it out myself, or maybe I have personal experiences to help you out. So with that being said, I'll catch you in the next video. Daily content. Peace out. I'm John McGarrett's. Peace out. YouTube.com. Peace out. You. See ya. Oh, I should have made myself big. Hold on. Peace out.